Hola amigos, como esta? Welcome to the show. Uh. In today's episode, we bring to you demons on the run. I was going to say AIDS, but... <laughs> I mean, we could bring you that too. So I had another story about Ballarat. Okay, I thought you said there was nothing left. Well, this isn't a, um, like, this wasn't a Melbourne story. This is a, you, you talked about pies, which reminded me. I, uh, my grandparents, they're now senior citizens, and they go to the Senior Citizens Club uh, in Ballarat. And they said, hey, do you want to come to the Senior Citizens Club? And I'm like, well, okay. You know, they said, oh, people always bring their grand their grandkids. I'm like, that's, that's fine, but um, most of the grandkids usually nearly 30 years old. And they're like, well, well, no. I'm like, okay, well, let's see how this goes. See if they're going to be like, ah, oh, no, you can't come in because you're not old or really, really young with the grandparents. So we went in there, and my grandparents had described it as, you know, you pay 10 bucks, you get soup, um, a meal, and dessert for 10... God damn it, for 10 bucks. Sounds like a pretty good deal. Sweet, sounds good. And they described the meals as, you know, your meat and veggies, your roast or whatever with some veggies, your mashed potato, cauliflower, and all that sort of stuff. Sounds fucking good. A good, nice meal. So we went there. We got in there. There's no soup. The meal was a pie or a pasty <laughs> with mashed potato and peas. I'm like, okay. They're like, it's not usually like this. Then I looked at the dessert. It was a ice cream, vanilla ice cream with chocolate, like dip, like chocolate, choc top ice cream on a stick. You know the, the choc top ice creams on a stick? Yep. That was the dessert. <laughs> wow. I was like, huh, okay. I mean, it was a really good pie that I had. And we ended up getting an extra ice cream on a stick because the guy just gave us an extra one. He's like, here, you can have this. I'm like, sweet, I'm not going to complain. But um, it was not what I expected. No, normally when you go to... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Senior citizen stuff. You'd expect that, like... Not necessarily saying stereotypically there's old people food, but stereotypically there's old people food. Um, <laughs> Not saying that, but I'm saying that. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly my point. Um, like, you know, when you think of old people food, you think, you know, I, I think, I know it sounds strange, I think pea soup. Yep. Uh, tapioca. Tapioca. Um, and like mashed, I guess, like mashed bud. Mashed spud with like mashed carrots and pumpkin, all that sort of shit. Yep. Like all mashed together. Yeah. Like a mash, so it's easy because they don't have teeth. Yeah. But maybe it's just, maybe that's just, again, being stereo, that's a stereotype. That's profiling, and I'll have none of it, but I'll be profiling them from now on. It was also very hard because a lot of them didn't eat their food, so a lot of food was just going to waste. I'm like, oh, God damn it. Well, it's probably because, you know, they rock up expecting this banquet of foods and not getting them. Yeah. God, you are dying a lot. I am. I certainly am. Have you ever thought about not dying? I mean, I thought about it, but then I thought, where's the fun in that? I'm in the Kadinger Sanctum. Or Kadinger Sanctum. Kadinger. Kadinger. <laughs> Sounds like a place you'd actually run Wine into in Australia. Australia. <laughs> so, you've, uh, have you watched any of the Olympics? I watched a little bit. Yeah. Um, I watched someone take the saying break a leg too literally. I did see that. Um, I watched a bit of the the swimming and I believe I watched a bit of the archery but Olympics are never really my thing. I I watched a little bit like I watched the uh, men's hockey. Uh, I watched a bit of the beach volleyball, the women's beach volleyball. Why did you watch that for? Because it was on TV. Bullshit. <laughs> Um, were they any good looking ones? Uh, it was the Americans versus the Australians. So they were good looking? Yeah, it was. Um, and the Americans ended up flogging Australia. Naturally, because we don't probably play beach volleyball very much here. Um, I mean, Queensland and that probably would. But um, one thing I noticed was during the opening ceremony, there's a team for the refugees. I'm sorry, what? There's a refugee Olympic team. With their own team... And they're called the Refugee Olympic Team. What country do they serve? The refugees. <laughs> they don't serve a country, they serve themselves. They're representing themselves. They have zero medals, as you probably would imagine. Uh, but yeah, they have their own Olympic team. See... <laughs> when... You were in the Olympics. Yeah. You're supposed to be representing a country. Yeah, well, these are people that have been kicked out of their country or escaping their country due to tyranny, 
I would yeah, but then normally they would be representing the country they live in if they're legal citizens, which most people that are immigrants should come into their country in the legal way because, you know... These are probably ones that aren't legal. <laughs> they're still on the boat. <laughs> I don't know which road to go down here. <laughs> I'm, like, standing in a fork in the pathway. You're at the crossroad. <laughs> I don't know which road to take. Do I take the politically correct one? Take but the path of least resistance. The path of least resistance is probably going to end up getting me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> um, Live by the sword, die look, by the sword. I understand why immigrant immigration happens and it, it sucks. It really does suck. And I, I feel for them and I feel bad for them. Um, on the same... On, on that subject, I don't want them to illegally come to a country and then... I'd, I'd, I guess ruin it for everyone else is the way I, I, I look ruin at it. Ruin it for the people that are trying to... The yeah, the, the people that are trying to get in here legal in the legal standpoints. And I know it's not easy. It's fucking hard to um, come over to a different country uh, the legally way because, you know, people are cunts. Um, we certainly are. Yeah. I don't know. It's just... It's a sore subject, I guess. <laughs> and the more you talk about it, the more you get yourself and you put your... <laughs> you dig a hole. <coughs> I've already got one foot in the grave here just by talking about it and trying to not seem like I hate the fact that immigration happens and it shouldn't. I think what I hate is the reason why immigration happens. Like, yeah, well... The reason they come to other countries is because their country's so shit. Like, yeah. Well, it sucks that their country has to be so shit they have to flee from it. You know what I mean? I think it just... It, it, like, Jim Jeffries says it the best. Like, religion is the reason why. Yeah. Um, I'm paraphrasing, naturally, because I... Damn it! If I said it the way he said it, then it would be A... Um, plagiarism? Plagiarism and B, um, probably, again, not safe for work. <laughs> um, though, did you know he has a new special oh, on Netflix? He? Is it on Netflix? It's on Netflix. Oh, I am going to be watching this. It is fucking good. He has another rant on it. I wouldn't say at the sta uh, at the um, point of um, his gun control, <laughs> but he talks about their politics a little bit. Oh, God. Um, don't be the asshole America. That is, could only be fantastic. It is great. It, like, I'll, I'll give you a little snippet. It's like, Donald Trump. Come on, guys. We all know. He's a little fun. And there's a little part of me that goes, fuck it. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I think I may have seen a snippet of that yeah. somewhere. I think. I can't remember. Um, speaking of politics and, and stupid things yeah. that, you know, politicians make us do. The census. Oh, that's today, isn't it? To date, everything that's yeah. happening. Is that today or does it yeah. go for a week? I, well, it's you're supposed to do it tonight. Okay. I've done mine tonight. Yep. Or today. Um, I did it early because there's only me living in the house, so there wouldn't be anything to fill out except for me. They want you to now put your name and everything in it. I thought it was supposed to be an anonymous vote. It's supposed to be, yeah. But now you have to put your name in it. Oh, because people are getting fined, aren't they? Yep. It's a hefty fine too, isn't it? Yep. Um, so it's it's pretty ridiculous that they want all this information and there's now light coming out, like people are saying that um, it could be used for marketing purposes and everything like that. Um, but then you, when you go into the census, you do it. Um, there is a section to say, oh, do you want, do you agree to for us to use this for other purposes rah, rah, and I just said no the right one no just, it's bad enough the, the government wants enough out of us and then you get all the fucking telemarketers ringing you up and everything I don't I mean, want anything do, more do they ask your phone number and shit? no they only ask your address your address as of one year ago and your address as of five years ago um, I can't fucking remember that and then like your job status um, how many people live in the house and all that sort of shit and it also asks how many people Stay are uh, staying at the house that night, sort of thing. Like, how many people will be in the household that night, sort of thing. Okay. Now, I knew it was only just going to be me tonight, so I'm just like, well, it's just me. <laughs> but it's all online now. It's all online. Which is hard for the oldies. Yep, my uh, my grandmother, she wasn't too happy about it because her computer wasn't working. She's got NBN though, so I was like, well, goddamn you. How did she get NBN? She's just in Ballarat. Oh, you're talking about your grandmother from in oh, Alright, cool. I thought you were talking about your great grandmother from in here. Yeah, no, she uh, she doesn't have the internet. So they had to apply for a paper form. And died again. Because uh, you can still do the paper form, but um, you had to actually apply for it this time instead of just them sending it out. Hmm. 
It's a bit silly. Um, I suppose these are they. It's those type that they live there. Um, fuck. What was I gonna say? Yes. It's. I guess the age now where everyone's expected to have the internet. I think that's what they're hoping for. Is everyone has the internet? Uh, the issue with that being is a some people can't afford it. Yeah, make it more affordable. For um, God's sakes. Yeah, please. And um, B, um, you know, some people are still from an age where internet, even like TV, wasn't one of those things that you sat there and watched. Yeah, that's right. Like, like you're you're you're, the... um, you're what your nan that lives here. Yep. How is she? I would I assume she's like in her late seventies, early eighties. I think she's eighty now. I think yeah. she's hit eighty. I think. Um, so, you know, what, take that from 2016, that's what, 1930s? Thir- that'd be the 30s or 40s. Yeah. Um, the TVs weren't really around back then either. But she does watch a lot of TV. But again, but she would have grew up with an old TV, like the old black and white TV. Yeah. Internet didn't exist then. Nope, no. Internet didn't even exist really in the, it did exist in the 80s, but it wasn't in a, It was in like a bare form. Yeah. And it was like, the internet was used more for like government sort of use, like NASA and all that sort of stuff. The internet back then was definitely used for the transfer, um, the the transferring of information. That's what it was originally used for. Like you used it kind of like what we use for a fax machine, but it was more secure because only you know certain people had it. Yep. You could transfer information from one country to another, and it was quicker than mail. Yep. Um, not by much, but <laughs> back then, you know, transferring data would have been a piece of paper or something. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Um, but back then you just use a fax machine because that was always quicker. Um, but horrible noises. And it's funny because that. even I remember not really growing up with internet because I was a poor kid and didn't get the internet until later on, like, would have been in my early teens, if not pre-adolescence, I don't know, something like that. Um, and it wasn't great, but I also remember having friends from overseas and it, the only way you could talk to them was through chats things. You could never call them. You can never talk to them. These days, you can now call them and talk to them on your phone. Yep. And it still costs you nothing. Like, it costs you your phone bill, which is always set in stone these days. But you just call them on your Facebook Messenger or you have some sort of app. You call them on Skype. Skype. You can, call, you can, talk, you can talk to them on Discord, which is also on your phone. That cord. Or that cord. You know, um, <laughs> it makes life easier. Oh, shit, yeah. It's uh, so much easier to communicate with the outside world. And the one thing that I want them to do now is... Um, start bringing out phones with massive data plans and not like I rarely text people I do text people but it's I, I call people too but if there was an easier way to call people through data I'd probably do that more often yep yeah I can see that I, I, I'm with you on that I would probably data call like do you more use often. do you text people more or do you use Facebook Messenger more I, most of the time Facebook Messenger there's only some people I don't Facebook message I think the reason I like Facebook Messenger so much is because it tells you when people read it. Yep. <laughs> and you know when they're ignoring you. Yep. <laughs> and you know and you know when I'm ignoring you. And you can also see when they're online. So Which go, happens okay, a lot. They're online. I can talk to them. The difference with that is I'm always online on Facebook Messenger, I think. Because you've got your computer. I've got thing. my computer and my phone. I've set it up so I'm always online. And I'll get there eventually and I'll look at it. Um, or I will ignore it. You know, something I always do. Because I'm the worst with my phone. Because I don't answer the stuff occasionally. Like, if I don't know the phone number, I won't answer it. Yep. Um, which has bitten me in the ass a few times. Um, I don't know. Whew. I guess it's telemarketing more than anything. I don't want to answer a phone and some cunts on the other side of the phone going, Hello, would you like to... Uh... I don't know why I went straight to Indian. That's very racist of me. It's <laughs> very true, though. It's very true. Hello, my name is Bob. Would you like to... Uh... Trent, we'd like to talk to you about your Telstra phone. Like, oh, I don't have a Telstra phone, mate, so uh, I'm quite happy with my thing. See you later. Yep. But, um, yeah. I don't know why I got onto that sort of rant. Seems to be my forte of things. I just rant about shit. My grandmother, like the one that lives here, she always gets phone calls saying, oh, just letting you know your internet service is going to be down. <laughs> and she's like, well, that's great, because I don't have internet. And they're like, oh, bye. <laughs> I'd like to say, uh, your computer's down at the moment. Oh, yeah. No worries. What would you like me to do? Would you like me to send you my credit card information too so you can check, make sure that that's not a part of my internet? Yeah, that's right. Fuck, so yeah. fuck off, mate. If there's something wrong with my computer, I will know. Yeah, that's right. I can see it. It's right here. Oh. Look. Secret area. Yeah. The fuck Who's is... Girl? 
I don't remember this part. Else around here, I'm pretty sure. I think if I go this way. Yeah. This is probably the most. Yeah, yeah there we go. This yeah. is probably the most hippie bullshit. Another thing from Jim Jeffries that I remember going to say. Hate does not beat hate. Only love beats hate. Love doesn't always beat hate, though. But you think of that person that you really fucking hate. That you don't like anything. That you really don't like. And you treat them with niceness. It might not like, it might not do anything. It might not make them like you more. But eventually people will see you being nice to him. Him being just an asshole. And he does end up being in the asshole. Don't be the asshole, America. <laughs> yeah, Jim Jeffries. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Like and comment. And uh, don't be the asshole, America. Don't be. Yeah, exactly. Don't be the asshole, America. <laughs> Though, again, again, I want to see what happens. It would be funny. It would be interesting, but it would fuck the world up. Boy. Boy. It's high noon. For some reason we went Halo. That's the, that's the Doom theme song. <laughs>